Alright, before we start, link will be in the description for this. My GFX pack, it has everything, like clothing PNGs, if you do clothing, it has backgrounds for GFX, it has Cinema 4D templates, a bunch of Cinema 4D templates, GFX shit, everything that I use here will be in this pack, in this pack will be in the description, you got your logos, got a bunch of logos shit, uh, ramps template, uh, and AP template obviously, so yeah, everything of this will be in the description, um, also another thing, I'm gonna need you guys for me to go vote for my case in Rust Clash, cause I'm trying to get my case up there, you know what I mean, so, I'm gonna need you guys to go vote for my case, it's right here, I'm gonna send you guys a fucking invite to this Discord. Let's go click a thumbs up on that case for me. Alright, I appreciate it. Alright, but first thing what you need to do, you're gonna open your Photoshop for logos, like a normal logo. Like Discord logo and shit. I do 450 by 450 just for the better uh, quality of it. It doesn't really matter what you use, but I use that. Um, so like you would come in here, throw a logo, boom, size it, and then throw like your text under it. I'm not doing a C4D template for text, but, uh, I don't know, logo. Yeah, you, 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 you get the gist, yeah, you get it. But alright, so first off, we're going to need to make a C4D, so we're going to go into the GFX pack. C4D templates, I'm just going to do relentless.c4d for right now because it's the easiest one to work with and fastest if this ever opens if it ever opens, keyword if it ever opens you feel me alright that is not the one that is easiest to work with, it is but rp underscore server dot c4d my bad. So then we're gonna go click on this to uh, oh, come on man. Bro, what the fuck? Tutorial. Man, suck my dick, bro. Tutorial video. I don't know. Let's go to tutorial video. And then we'll change the color, we'll change it. Change it to red. And then to save it, click on the settings thing up here, click on save, boom, save it as shitter, save it, and then you click, and then you click this right here, and then it'll render it, and then it'll save it straight to your computer. Say it's saved, blah, 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 go over to here, go back to Photoshop, new. 1920 by 1080 so then we're gonna go into the logos inside of obviously the thing we'll find a logo what logo I don't know I guess we'll do I guess we'll do juice world make him bigger put it up a little bit and then we'll go get rid of the background obviously and then what we just saved, fuck, I can't, I'm so fucking just, I don't know, I can't do shit right now, tutorial video, right, so then you'll put this over this, this is obviously just, it's not, it's just something quick, it's just teach you, it's not too, like, I'm not trying to waste your time, if you need to slow down the video, it's easier to slow down the video than someone going super fucking slow and then you can't speed it up because they're going so damn slow. But yeah, you get it. I'm not going to like line it up perfectly because you, you get it. Tutorial video and then we'll control S this. PNG. Save it anywhere. Tutorial. Uh, load. Tutorial load. Okay, so we'll save this. You want to make sure the background is transparent, by the way. Make sure the background is transparent. Then we'll open After Effects, right? New composition from footage. We'll go to picture. No, it was saved in the right. It's about where I just was. Tutorial load. And you'll get this. Obviously, this logo has background shit, so you have to remove that. But 
you, you get it. So then click on this, right, layer, auto trace, make sure apply to new layers collect, uh, selected. If not, you have to do a bunch of other shit. And then saber, you should already have the saber tool by now if you're looking this up. If not, it'll be in the description to download it. I don't like neon. Everyone likes neon, but I don't like neon. I usually do like fog. That's what I usually do. Render settings, want to make sure that's transparent. Uh, customize core, layer masks, make sure it's on layer masks. Your color, it can be whatever color you want. I'm just going to do white for now. Make the core size a little bit bigger so that way it glows more. Put it on 1.7 and then we'll do end offset. Do 20, I usually do 25 and then make sure it's, we want the loading screen to be 6 seconds. So we'll do that. And then we'll click on mask evolution on the timer right there. Drag it to the end. Negative two. Also, you see, so it goes around, right? Also, if you want it, so that way there's two. Let me find the negative two. If you want it so there's two, you'll copy control C, control V. Come here, you'll click on this, and then you'll just do two. So now there's two going around it. You see what I mean? So now there's two of them going around it. I'm gonna wait for this to render real quick. That's all just personal preference. If you wanna like click scale on all of these, right? Like say you want it to go down and then we'll do ninety. Say you want it to go down and then back up, do that. And then you drag it back to here and then go back to a hundred. And then it goes, gets smaller, and then it'll get bigger. So that's that. Say you want it to move, right? You'll click P. Oh, my bad. For that, you just click on it and click uh, S, by the way. My bad. So you'll click P. And then boom. So say you want it halfway through, you want it to move over here, right? Obviously, you would have to group these up, but... Hold on, let me control Z this. So I can just do this 344 and 426. 344, 426. That's also another easy way of doing it. And then, so yeah. So, like, you wanted to move to there. And then, say you wanted to move it back, you would just 960 by 540. So then you would come here. 960 by 540 960 540 960 540 so then yeah it'll just it'll move around and shit you know what I mean it'll just move to wherever you like you move it to and then also click R you can turn on the rotation tool so you see it's the everything saves still by the way it's still getting smaller and bigger and it's still moving around so then you click the timer again say you want it to rotate oh shit my fault I have to so say you want it to do a full rotation by the time so you'll just do 359, 359, 359. So then it'll do a full rotation while going over there, and then it'll go back to normal. You know what I mean? Then I'll go back to another full rotation. So that's that. Then we'll add our background. So we'll go back in the here. Backgrounds, pick any background. I'm just going to do. I'm going to make it. I don't know what colors make that. I'm just gonna choose this one, right? And then you'll move the background down to here. And what I usually like to do, I usually like to make it a little bit bigger. And do wiggle up here. Wiggle position, right? So then you go to here and then wiggle amount. You want it to be like 16 and then like 8. I mean, so the background or 
a little bit faster. So yeah, so the background shakes and shit. You got your fucking shit moving around. You got all that. Obviously, anything can be changed to the way you like it. It's just, I'm just throwing something random together. Just showing you what you can do with After Effects. Like the shit you can do, like simple shit like that, that nobody knows about. Good, like all new people won't know about that. And then we will come down to... Shit, bro. I'm all out of fucking... I'm everywhere right now. And then we'll come down to GFX shit. Say you want this behind your logo, right? So you'll come out. And then halfway through, you want it to go through, right? So you put it under everything besides that, right? And then it'll come to here. You want to make this bigger. And then you're going to want to right-click, blending mode, screen. And then say you want it to be like uh, I'm gonna keep it white but say you wanted to change it to any color you click colorize all the way up and then you can change the color of it obviously but I'm gonna keep it white so yeah so then that will go in the background of this and then it'll just keep doing its thing say you wanted something over it like what do I usually use where is it I usually use this. I like shit. I like this. I usually use this and put it over. So you'll do this. And then blending options, screen. And then I'll you know, use that saturation. Yep. Colorize full. And then you got that moving too. I, I usually put it behind the logo, but I'm just doing it for. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Also, every cracked version can be found in my Discord for After Effects, Photoshop, all that shit. But yeah, you do that. So I'd put it behind the logo so the logo doesn't fuck with its color. But yeah, you gotta get it. So you click the X, save, test, load, right? Test load, close out of that, close out of that. And then you will come over to media encoder. Also, in my Discord. So it just opens, and then you'll go to your this quick access. It should be on quick access, but wherever you saved it, it'll be. And then you drag it over, click back onto uh, uh, Media Encoder, Tutorial Load, OK, and then right here. Shit, it's on. Well, something fucked up in the background because I didn't let it fully shit and then you'll come down to animated gif and then animated gif match source and then you'll export it but i know exactly what and didn't i didn't let it render all the way so give me a second so i reopen it if that happens just reopen it go back in the test load let it re-render and let it go through twice So it rendered. I'm going to let it keep going through just in case it missed anything. And then control S or click F. I think I control S that. So then we'll wait, let me refresh just in case. Then we'll bring this back over. I hope I control S that. I really hope so. And then you'll click the play button. Yeah, I did. And then it renders. I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to sit here for the render. Okay, apparently I didn't let it load all the way, but whatever. White overlay.mp4. So that would be that white picture. Apparently that's not wanting to work for me right now. But yeah, I'm not even gonna sit you guys through this pain right here. It didn't it didn't render, but if it doesn't render remove it 
and then re-put it in and then let it render all the way and then it shouldn't that, w that won't be there I just don't really have the patience to do that because it's already 14 minutes in and yeah <laughs>